Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a technique to paint anything in Photoshop. Whether you have a fancy Wacom tablet or iPad or just a humble mouse like this, this technique can be easily followed. So here is the flower photo. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate this technique. I'm going to paint this flower in Photoshop. To begin, we will add a solid color adjustment layer. Feel free to choose any color you like. But for this tutorial, I will be using white color. Let's rename this layer as background. Next, duplicate the photos background layer and name it reference. Place this layer at the top. Now duplicate the background layer once more and position it below the reference layer. Now lower the opacity of this layer to 1% then add a blank layer. Now select the both layers by pressing Ctrl or Command key and click on them. Let's hide the reference layer for now. As a result everything appears white. With the two selected layers right click and choose merge layers. Rename this merge layer as the painting layer which we will use for our painting. If you turn on the reference layer, you can see the original image, turn it off and it becomes white. Now grab the mixer brush and select a soft round brush. You can choose any painting brush you prefer, but for this demonstration, I will stick with the basic brushes. Choose a clean brush and enable the option to clean the brush after each stroke. Adjust the wetness to around 30%. If you are painting detail strokes, you can use a smaller percentage like 10% and for intermediate strokes around 20% and for underpainting approximately 30%. Now set the load to 50%, mix to 100% and flow to 100%. With the canvas blank, we are uncertain where to start and where to paint. Let's paint randomly to begin with. As you can see the colors. I am using or derived from the apparently transparent painting layer. The mixer brush is essentially bringing them out. Alright, I have finished painting but the colors are similar to the original ones. However, we didn't achieve the perfect shape and details. That's why we have the reference layer. Let me undo all the painting and start from scratch using the reference layer. We can lower the opacity of this layer. Usually I prefer 10% to 20%, but a lower contrast image might require a higher opacity. The main idea behind this painting is to follow the contour lines of your subject. I will paint in some of these yellow greens of the stem following the contours working both sides of the lines. When exploring this painting technique you have the freedom to experiment with various brush sizes to achieve different artistic effects. Opting for smaller brushes lends itself to creating a highly detailed and realistic appearance in your artwork. Let's begin by painting some yellow at the base of the flower. When we turn off the reference layer, you will notice how the colors start to look as if they have been painted onto the empty white background. 
So hopefully with this initial painting you can grasp the basics of how this underpainting layer technique works and appreciates its potential. You can use smaller brushes for a realistic look or larger brushes for a more impressionistic style. With this technique the colors and the general shapes are provided by your original photograph while the brush strokes and painting style come from you. Now you can paint human faces, landscapes or anything you desire. But remember the key to achieving the best results is patience. Painting is not an easy task so a big salute to all the artists who dedicated hours of their time to provide us with captivating visual experience. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and please like share and comment. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Happy editing.